Iya, non muslim. Iya. Yes. Langsung bertanya, silakan. Uh, selamat malam, nama saya Lia. Saya beragama Budhis. Di sini saya ingin bertanya. Uh, ketika saya pernah mencari kebenaran suatu agama dan saya sudah menemak, menemukannya di depan mata saya namun ketika saya berpikir untuk berpindah agama saya di dalam hati saya saya tidak bisa meninggalkan kepercayaan dan adat istiadat saya pertanyaan saya apakah saya bisa untuk dapat memegang kepercayaan saya atau harus mengikuti kebenaran agama itu tersebut Try to find an officer in the group in Malaysia. We thought that if she converted to other religion, she must leave the religion in her religion. Can she, if convert to her to Islam, for example, to a new religion, still commit and practice the religion she has in her religion before? <coughs> The sister asked a question that she's a Buddhist and she is searching for the truth. She's asking that can she convert to a new religion and yet keep her tradition what she used to follow before? Sister, <clears throat> as far as Islam is concerned, as I mentioned in my talk, Islam means peace acquired by submitting of will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by submitting of will to Almighty God and Quran clearly mentions in Surah Imran chapter 3 verse number 19 inna dina in the al Islam the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam even if you read the Buddhist scriptures if you read the Dhammapad and if you read the Gospel of Buddha by Karis on page number 217 and 218, it talks about the Buddha talking about a Maitri to come. When Ananda asked Buddha that, Oh great Buddha, when you are gone, who will teach us? So Buddha replies that I am not the first Buddha. Neither am I, I am not, I am not the last Buddha. There is another Buddha to come who, who will teach things which are glorious at the beginning, glorious at the peak, glorious at the end. He will be enlightened, full of wisdom and knowledge, loving, merciful. He will teach a religion that will teach the truth as I have hundreds of followers, he will have thousands of followers. So Ananda asked him that how will we know this Buddha? So Buddha replies, he will be called Maitri. Maitri, again in Sanskrit means merciful. And Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not but as the mercy to all the worlds, as the mercy to all the creatures, as the mercy to the whole of humanity. So even according to Buddha, he prophesies the coming of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you read, if you hear my lecture, Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the world scriptures, you will find many prophecies which have been given in the Buddhist scripture. Now coming to your question, if you accept a new religion, do you have to give up your tradition? As far as Islam is concerned, when anyone accepts Islam, he can follow any tradition as long as that tradition doesn't go against the teaching of Quran and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You can follow any tradition, any custom, 
as long as that tradition, that custom does not go against the teachings of Quran and the Sahih Hadith. If in your, if in your tradition, you have to love your parents, when you join Islam, you have to love your parents more. Not only can you keep your tradition, you have to see to it that you love your parents. Because our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. Furthermore, whatever is optional, even that you can continue. Only those things you cannot do, what is prohibited in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. For example, if in your tradition you have to have alcohol. Now, alcohol is prohibited in the Quran. Consuming alcohol, drinking alcohol is prohibited in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 90. So, if you are consuming alcohol, you have to discontinue. But the point to be noted is whatever is prohibited in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith, if you stop it, inshallah, you will become a better human being. It will benefit you in this life as well as the year after. So if hypothetically drinking alcohol is there in your tradition, when you join Islam, when you become a Muslim, you have to stop having alcohol. That will make you healthier. That will make you a better human being. That will make you a better Muslim. You will stop abusing. You will stop disrespecting your parents. Many people who have alcohol, they disrespect their parents. They start abusing. So sister, any tradition of yours which goes against the teaching of Quran and say Hadith, only that you have to stop. All the others you can continue. There is no problem at all. I would like the translator to translate this and then I will ask her the question. Sister, I'd like to ask you the question. I would request the volunteers that anyone who's asking a question in Bahasa, please give him or her the headphone so that they hear the translation directly and we don't have to waste time. I would like to ask the sister. The sister, do you have some knowledge of Islam? Ask her, that, does she have some knowledge of Islam? Yeah, tapi tidak beberapa, tidak mendalam. Okay. Does she know anything 
which she does and is prohibited in Islam? Does she do anything in a tradition which is prohibited in Islam? Uh, untuk sampai saat ini ada tapi itu sebagai seperti adat untuk saya. Does she know of any particular thing? Does she have any specific contradiction? Anything in the religion which you feel in Islam which is contradicting your previous tradition? Uh, untuk agama keluarga saya itu sebenarnya bukan Budhis tapi Konghucu uh, dan untuk beribadahnya sendiri itu ke ke Pekong atau bisa dibilang orang-orang menyebutnya kayak menyembah dewa jadi kayak adat dari keluarga saya seperti bertentangan dengan Muslim. Uh, my family, sorry. Sister, do you believe that idol worship is correct or wrong? Do you think worshiping idol is correct? Salah. Mashallah. Sister, do you believe that there is one God? Yeah. Mashallah. Sister, do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Uh, saya meyakini, cuman belum dapat memahaminya. You believe, but you still can't. What can you not understand, sister? What can you not understand about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Uh, saya belum tahu sejarahnya dan belum terlalu mendalami. Inshallah, sister, I request you that if you can read the seerah of the Prophet, the life of the Prophet, and you can even hear my cassette on the prophecies of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the world scriptures inshallah you will get more knowledge about the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i request a volunteer to give her there's a very good seerah of the prophet raik al maktum i don't know whether it is translated in bahasa or not it is translated in english for sure i would request someone should give her the book on my behalf and I want her to read this and inshallah after reading that inshallah she'll be more enlightened about the life of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him thank you sister I request someone to give us that book can we have the next question <laughs> 